So today we are starting our journey on getting a hamster. True that. We've got the stuff to make the cage. We do. We have the. This is the top bit that goes on the lid, and then we're going to use the box and fill it up. Not with crisps. That's probably really jarring. Yes. <laughs> we'll show you properly when we're home. The audio might be horrible, yes. so this could be voiceover. Yes. But stay tuned. So the second part of our journey is to DIY the box. So, yeah. Anyone that's interested in getting a hamster, yeah. Syrian hamster specifically, mm -hmm. dwarf hamsters, you can have a small space, but we've put a lot of research in, we're not idiots. Uh, we are make, not. Firstly, you have to make sure the box is big enough, so yes. this is... Look at look how big it is. Seven. So it's about 78, 80 centimetres long. Uh, I don't even know, it's like 40 centimetres tall. You want about, I think it's about 15, 16 centimetres for it to like burrow into. So. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, so... If it is like a dwarf hamster, you don't need the lid, but we're going to get a Syrian hamster and them little motherfuckers can climb. Yeah. Pardon my French. <laughs> uh, they can climb, so you want a lid, which we're going to DIY with some stuff that we bought, which we'll show you. So I'm going to mark it out about five centimetres, so it's got like a perimeter, uh, so that the majority of it's kind of mesh, so you know, air and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, with undisclosed methods, shout wiki how, um, we, we've managed to create what, as you can see, is not very good. A janky hole. Very janky, and it severely needs sandpapering down. Which but, we have, so. Yeah, we do. Uh, Sanding. Given Sanding the time. resources, I think what this should show you is that if you skin and you have no equipment and you don't know if you have any way of getting a drill bit, <laughs> a bit specific, but. It is possible, very possible, to DIY shit. What we are going to do is sandpaper this down. I'm going to cut this uh, to be kind of the size for the lid. And we're going to see, it might go on top, it might go under. You can drill it and cable tie, but we might glue it. Um, either way, we'll kind of see how it goes. Very DIY, rustic. See you in a second. So, the box is done. Um, we have the mesh on it, and today we, we have been out and we have bought the stuff to fill it. So we've got Carefresh bedding for them. Yeah, it's uh, like tissue and stuff. Yeah. Because that's actually good for them, unlike uh, wood, wood's not. Mm -hmm. And sawdust. Aspen, which is yes. Uh, Only aspen, nothing else. Yes, do not do that. And um, we oh, also okay. got some stuff for. Oh, we've got Inside. more. We've got little hides and stuff. Oh, we got uh, more care fresh. Yeah, different tissue, mm -hmm. different texture and stuff. Yeah. Uh, then the, the cool bit we got uh, cocoa fibre, cocoa fibre, which is coconut, which they're like it's different texture. You know, mm -hmm. it gives them stuff to be happy about. And enrichment for foraging. Yes. We got some mealworms because bros give you his protein. <laughs> uh, not too much though, because they no. can make them fat. Yeah, very fatty. <laughs> we also got, yeah, so we got little, some little boards. things. We got some like, chopping boards for like cheap kind of Little platforms, platforms and stuff. Very smooth. We've got a bigger chopping board. Mm -hmm. Got a little water some, bowl. Like, boxes, yeah. So, more things. We've got some jars, stuff for them to kind of climb and make little holes out of like this. Be cool because you can borrow. Mm -hmm. uh, food wise, so we've got the meal ones. We've got, got some. Like snack treats. things, yeah, little treats. And then the, the main kind of food mix you went for is this one. Harry Harry's, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it's very good for them. Mm -hmm. So we got, we, we had some good reviews on it saying that it was out of the pet store food, kind of the best one mm -hmm. for having what they actually need in the mix and not like just random mm -hmm. crap that is good for them. Yeah, I mean, it's the way they kind of breaks it up is it's got the protein fiber, the fat and stuff, the stuff that's mm -hmm. actually in it and this one's pretty good. The final thing we got is... For, to put large treats on. Well, his food. Yeah. yeah. But you do want to, if you are going to do this, you do want to actually scatter mm -hmm. a lot of the yeah. food. So the forage. Yes, so encourage, encourage foraging. Not only does that entertain them, it also makes them one exercise. Mm -hmm. Too, it's natural. Yeah. It's kind of what you want to be doing. So yeah, exactly. we'll get back to you when we've done it. Mm -hmm. So, 
We've built it. We've set it up. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> so we've got, we've got, it's quite, obviously, one thing is that as you have got on more, you'll have more stuff and whatever, so that we're going to get away with stuff. But for now, we've got quite simple. We've got, um, Got, so we've got like a water bowl, a little tray for some food. We've got three like borrow things at the minute, but we're gonna just see what he likes. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't put the, the coconut cocoa shit in, um, because, well, firstly, this one block is literally like, it expands to eight times, that's so we're gonna have to break a bit off, but we're gonna get like a box and put that in one of the corners down here. So you've got to see what he kind of likes. You've got the toilet roll tube, because one, they can chew it and it won't hurt them. And we've also got about 15 centimetres each, bit, bit more, bit less, mm -hmm. like a bit we've more. We've got different here. like levels, like yeah, not drastic, it's hard to it's like, hard to show. Yeah, like it's not like drastic. <clears throat> this it's level here, here, yeah, and then this one is just slightly higher. So you've got different. So there we go. Perfect. That's what yeah. we've got. Now we're gonna probably order. Agonizing amounts of things off the internet. Yes. Get some sprays and stuff. And then after that, it's just getting him. Mm -hmm. yeah. there's, like, there's that. It's gonna get young Willoughby. That's it. I don't think we've announced that. It's called Willoughby. Yeah, we're gonna it's call gonna him Willoughby. Willoughby. Yeah. Good. It's time. We are heading to go pick up Willoughby. Are you excited? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are we, are we ready? Yeah, so to say, probably. Mm -hmm. You can just sense, like obviously we don't even know which one we're going to get yet, but he has a name, he has a soul, he knows that he knows that he's going to get picked today. That's it, that's it. Guys, Willoughby's here! So, one thing I will say, the, the guy was actually very good. It's a very short walk, by the way, that's why we're walking yeah. it. We've got him, we went and bought a little carry thing. Uh, and he's in like a, they put him in like a box because it's yeah. dark, which is okay, but a bit of shade to throw. I've, people sometimes just take them in the cardboard box. Yeah. And I can feel that he's already digging through it. Uh -huh. uh, so that's not good if he's just in that box. But what I will say is that the guy that, so the way it works, he basically went through stuff with us. Yeah. He was actually good. Yeah, he was. So. However, I'm throwing shade at pets at home because Syrian hamsters are not supposed to live together like with their siblings or any other hamster after they're eight weeks old because their instincts start to kick in and they can kill each other and he actually told us to our faces that this baby was 12 weeks old and he was in a cage with four other hamsters like what well, thing <laughs> good thing he was super chill because yeah, apparently um apparently willoughby's very tame yeah he was like huh oh, he's already a really chill hamster i was like Good. But yeah, so we'll show you Willoughby. We're not allowed to touch him or like interact with him for 24 hours because he needs to get used to like, Aye, we're gonna leave his the area in so he can chill and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. we don't want to stress him out. Yeah. We're good parents. Especially because I assume that this is, I mean, even just the fact that he's in a cardboard box, yeah. in a box is probably quite stressful. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of sad. Uh, and anyone that's watching that's one of these like hamster geezers, it's like, I can't <laughs> believe he got one from a pet shop. It's yeah. what we have available. Yeah. But we're going to give him such a good life. We are. Bro's been rescued. Yeah. But yeah, Willoughby, I can hear him. Yeah. He's scratching away. <laughs> Well, we've had, we've bought Willoughby. Yeah, we kind of didn't do another video because we've been busy, but yeah, um, for a few days. We have, he's been here for a few days. We've just kind of let him settle. I'm trying to, giving him small treats to try he and get us used to us. No, yeah. He's getting a lot good, a lot more, he is, a, yeah. a, a lot more comfortable. Yes. Um, um, he's used to us. Yeah. I mean, he lets us stroke him and stuff. We're giving him food. Yeah. Don't take us all these things. You do have a hamster. Also, as we've just learned, don't be worried if he bites you. It's fine. Yes. Uh, they do that. Mm -hmm. um, to be fair, he's only actually bit me once. Mm -hmm. 
other than that, yeah. he nibbled me the first day because I went to give him a bit of food and it fell and he got confused. But <laughs> yeah. no, he's, he's been really friendly. Mm. He's got oh, wow. lots he's, of... Wow, he's got big burrows. He's emerging. Yeah. So he's happy. You want to say hi, He's happy. Willoughby? He's been doing some good <laughs> stuff. He's been... Oh, he's playing with that new bedding. Oh, good. He's been, like, stretching stuff, which means he's nice and chill. Mm. He's been playing. Maybe better for nest and... He um, can eat that. Yeah, he can. Mm. Anyway, just observing. Yeah, sorry, he's playing you with some hi? new stuff we got him. Yeah, say hello. Here he is. In the <laughs> corner. Hey Willoughby, say hi. He's like, no. Let so me let is. me live. <laughs> his favourite thing at the minute is his wheel. He's also yes. uh, um we have done good with this because he really likes borrowing and mm. there's a lot of space for him borrowing. Yes, yeah. We made sure to build it up He's also like, so, a lot. So quick. Yes. Look at this. I think it's really funny <laughs> that when he runs, it bl it blurs. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh my goodness. He's having fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. We've actually discovered. So we bought him like a couple things from various like, places. Yeah, we bought him some like like stuff that we saw online that was like not budget stuff, but stuff that wasn't like he's hit not store that expensive. Keen on the, um, so what we have found is he likes biting, so he's not that keen and we got him some toilet roll tubes as tunnels. Yeah. He's not really a fan, mm -hmm. but we got him a jar and it had a cork yeah. lid. And the, that cork yeah, is surprisingly. His thing in the world. Well we bought it for a hide, right? So this is the glass jar here. This one here. We bought it as a hide so that he could like like go inside it. But really he's been in it like three times. Uh, just to go in and then come out again yeah. and all he has used is the lid which was the cork like like I mean yeah, lid well, obviously it'll get and he's rearranged. massacred it as like, we, yeah as we clean on the stuff. first day he came out and he was like what is that <laughs> get... we've got one over here that is he likes it a lot better because it's darker but even then he'll go in it and then he try and eat. he tries to dig under it yeah he does yeah and he has actually there's a small burrow underneath it but I think he's kind of noticed that it because it like the way he's trying to burrow is like through the cage like towards where we are and he realizes that he can't get that he way he does so have a habit stopped. of every time he likes to pick a corner to burrow mm -hmm. in where it's obviously it's because it's occluded and stuff but he doesn't really obviously his sense of direction is like depth he's, he doesn't mm -hmm. have it so yeah. he keeps he basically digs but instead of digging into the enclosure it's mm -hmm. quite big he just kind of He's like, oh yeah, wall. He just stays there. <laughs> he does. Surprisingly, our wheel is very quiet. Like, we'd never even got one that was like specifically like a silent runner. Like, there's ones that have like, like, like um, I, I want to say it's a wooden wheel. Is that the one that Victoria uses? There was a specific one that's like it's designed for it to be really quiet, and it's like one of the really big ones that mm -hmm. Syrians need. Uh, we literally just bought the biggest one that we could find, mm -hmm. th like that was gonna come, like the day that we were getting them. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I think it's quite quiet. Yes, it's, uh, it's it's very good. It's actually quite a soothing sound. You it can... is, yeah. And also, it's... it's wood, and the only reason we can hear it is because it's so big mm -hmm. that it's kind of in the not in, but it kind of rests mm -hmm. on the bedding. Yeah. Um, I think was it off there too? No, I think it was, was it Amazon? I think it might be, well, yeah, because I got next day delivery, it was Amazon. Well, in which, either way, I think of any, all the stuff we've got, we'll link that. Sure. If anyone watching this is interested, because yeah. out of all the things you've got, that's obviously the, the best one. Mm -hmm. Everything else you can just get for cheap. We've got like, yeah. uh, we've got like stands and stuff that, like one of the things we've got is literally a two pound chopping board. Yeah, literally. And like a lot of like, um, a lot of people who are making like Syrian hamster cages, they get the ones with the, the feet on them, like to like make sure that they're sturdy for like burrowing. Mm -hmm. But um, I would invest in that if the part where Willoughby burrowed was where this thing was. Well, we <laughs> are investing. He, he in hasn't. That. Yeah. Oh but yeah. Like when where the thing we've got yes. now is kind of for his water. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, another thing, and by the way, like, you don't need a bottle. Yes. You, you don't can just get cheap tea light. Yes. And, yeah. that's what I was gonna say what I was gonna say was is that um, even though so you know how you said it wasn't like a, a cheap pet uh -huh. um, when you're buying the stuff like in the pet shop even if that stuff may be like usually it's overpriced but a lot of the cages that are like 
suggested for hamsters that are like on the cheaper side do not buy them i think don't buy a cage regardless i like, know i think if oh you God. are looking i don't think buying a cage is a thing i don't think you can do that i think any sane hamster owner well, knows not to buy it for the sake of the animal not either dying very prematurely mm. or hating you for its entire existence don't yeah. buy a cage you ironically cheapest and best bet is to either find out the proper measurements and buy a plastic bin and make one or buy an aquarium or mm -hmm. furniture that you can convert into one yeah. because like it's the only it is really the only way mm -hmm. I don't the ones think that we saw there. so before we actually decided to be smart and like watch loads of youtube videos shout out victoria again um we i was looking at uh stuff at pets at home and cages and stuff and I thought oh that one so there's one for 45 and one for 54 pound and you look at it and you're like oh and that I was like that looks huge the and then book. all of the reviews were like this is not suitable for any hamster not even like a Roborowski who's like this big and I was yeah. like excuse me they're wild though. what um yes do not recommend them for a first pet you have to be a very seasoned hamster owner apparently for... they're wild yeah <laughs> they, just doing, they just be doing stuff yeah but yeah and I was like that's insane and genuinely there was a, we watched a video of a woman four years ago saying this was in america but four years ago saying that americans were petitioning pet stores to have bigger cages four years ago and nothing's changed i was like well clearly so many people know and care about it so it's mental it's really, that it hasn't yeah. changed well, like to conclude Lord. things to bear in mind Hamsters are good. We love, love, love a bit of Willoughby. He's cool, He's man. so cute. He's cute. Uh, yeah, there's that. That's that. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Give us a comment. Give us a subscribe, all that jazz. Yeah. Um, Mad Sounds podcast on Spotify. For also, sure. We'll link it. Potentially, not on this channel, but on another channel. There'll be a music video coming out soon. The Res. Dean Norris. So <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah, that's that. Thank you. See you later. Bye.